you know, at this point, I can't even say I'm surprised. I, I really can't. I, I really can't even say I'm surprised. What's good, YouTube? It's your man, Rage King, back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, I ask if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, and hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe. And y'all, as you see right here on your screen, NBA 2K22, Take Two Interactive, Take Two, uh, to, uh, to, uh, 2K Games, whatever the hell they want to call themselves, has taken yet another L. What do I mean by that? Got an article here. We're going to read. We're going to react. That's just how we do. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. At this point with this with this game, with these stupid-ass devs at 2K, I can't even say I'm shocked anymore. I really can't. NBA 2K22 devs flamed over recycled content after James Harden discovery. Let's read on. NBA 2K22 fans are flaming devs for an old reference to James, Harden James Harden's time with the Houston Rockets that somehow managed to find its way to 2K22. Ain't no somehow found this way about it. These lazy motherfuckers can't do their job, don't want to do their job, but they want to take everybody's motherfucking money. They ain't got time to fix the game, but they want to take everybody's motherfucking money and charge more money for this bullshit. Let's read on. Sports franchise fans from both EA Sports and 2K Games have always been curious about devs recycling content year after year. But after a 2K22 fan discovery, the community may just have their answer. This comes after a reference to James Harden's time with the Houston Rockets has been unearthed in the game. For context, Harden was traded to the Brooklyn Nets in January of 2021, eight months prior to the release of 2K22. Let me read that again because I know that, 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 may not, that may just sound like me just reading, but I need y'all to pay attention to this last line. For context, Harden was traded to the Brooklyn Nets in January of 2021. Here's the part you need to hear to. Eight months prior to the release of NBA 2K22. So that means that these motherfuckers wasn't even truly even working on 2K22 back in January. They was damn that done with it then. Eight months in, and yet y'all got that in the game. Okay, let's read on. Fans have now begun to mock devs over the crucial misstep and seemingly clear recycling of content. NBA superstar James Harden played for the Oklahoma City Thunder in 2009-2012 tw until he was shipped off to Houston in a large trade deal where he played for nine seasons and earned an MVP award. The star was again traded to the Brooklyn Nets in January of 2021, something 2K devs must have missed out on. Or at least that's how it looks in-game. One fan posted an image to the official NBA 2K subreddit of, of a Fear the Beard sign held up by members of the crowd in Houston, there's the picture right there, y'all. That, that, there's the picture right there. Look, look at that. All in red. Brooklyn don't wear red, y'all. As you look in the crowd, you pay attention to, you can even see a few Rockets jerseys. This has been Harden's tagline exclusively for years, paying homage to his impressive facial hair. So there's no doubt that this is, that there's no doubt that this isn't meant for anyone else. Fans have poked fun in the comments that some other Rockets players have goatees and the like, and the like, and one commenter even claims that there are expired references in 2K22 that date all the way back to the 2015-2016 season. So basically, we haven't gotten a new game in seven fucking years. They took, and y'all want to know why how's the game getting worse? Because it's not a new game. And why does it feel the same and don't hit the same? Because we've been playing the same fucking game for seven years. Seven fucking years. Six, seven years. Whatever. Six, seven years. Damn near, de damn near decade. It's been the same game. I guarantee you it's the same thing with Madden too. But that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. But jokes aside, this sort of thing is disappointing for fans of the, 2K, of the 2K franchise who have been critical time and time again of what they feel to be recycled and ad filled content. Been telling y'all, copy and paste, then add something new and call it NBA 2K whatever is a community sentiment expressed by many in the threads and comments. 
One thing that the franchise has continued to innovate on its changes to my career, adding things like Rebirth, which was already in the game y'all took out and added back in, and keeping locker codes, which are absolutely fucking useless 99% of the time, fresh and active. But if 2K Games wants to keep fans happy moving forward, they'll need to keep expired player references like this Fear the Beard sign out of their game moving forward. And that is the end of the article. So now, to all the people out there that say, oh, Rage King, you're just being negative. Oh, Rage King, you're just a conspiracy theorist. Oh, Rage King, you're just bitching. Oh, Rage King, you're wrong. There is the motherfucking proof right now. There is undeniable fucking proof right there in your face. Right in your oculus. I can't make it no more clear than this. We have literally been playing the same fucking game for six going on seven fucking years. By the time the next game come out, it'll be 2022 for getting nothing. That's why I said seven years. I know math. For seven fucking years, through this game, 2K22's life cycle, we have been playing the same game over and over. That's why I don't hit the same because there's virtually nothing new about it. You're sitting there, you put in a, a roster update, you may change some shit in the main menu at how it looks, you may change how the park looks, which is almost never impressive some most of the fucking time, and then you call her, you slap a new number on it, and then you charge a hundred plus fucking dollars for it on top of microtransactions. So basically, we're playing 2K15 with microtransactions and horrible servers. And, and updated motherfucking rosters. Shit we could all be doing ourselves. Rage King just trying to save you from spending money you don't need to spend, all right? We've been playing the same shit for almost seven years. It's right here in your face. I can't make it no more clear. And I'm going to ask y'all this before I go. For the ones that think I'm crazy and not just prove that I'm not crazy, I just proved how fucking right I am after a two-year motherfucking trip getting there. After seeing this, for those that will, do you still call yourself wanting to buy 2K on release each and every year? Do you think giving these people your hard-earned money year after year for them to give you the same exact game you've been getting since 2015, do you think it's a good idea to invest in that company? Do you think it's a good idea to keep giving them your money? I don't. They clearly don't give a fuck about you so why do you give a fuck about giving your money to them? Rage King out.